3D Maker Pro has a new scanner for scanning larger scale objects called the Lynx. They were kind enough to send it along, and in this video, we're going to test it out. My name is Eric Stribble. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. Alfred Backpack Hanger in stainless steel and aluminum, designed by me, holds your backpack, lets you charge your phone, hold your keys. It's an incredibly versatile tool. You can use it anywhere in your home or office. Thanks for those of you who've purchased recently. It really helps support the channel. PCBWay offers online 3D printing for your prototyping and production needs. They offer FDM, SLS, SLA, DLP, MJF, and SLM, aluminum, stainless steel, titanium, and tool steel. Advantages of 3D printing include strong, lightweight, accurate parts. They're cost-effective and delivered quickly to your door. Check them out for your next project. Link in the description below. The new Lynx scanner is meant for scanning larger objects, objects up to five meters in size, and it can scan with an accuracy of 0.1 millimeter mine comes with turntable platform there's a turntable there's a tripod here that extends in and out it has a ball head on that tripod as well which is nice uh, usb turntable and a usb lynx scanner as we do in all the scanning videos we're going to scan these rock rooster newland uh, shoes link in the description below if you want to get some there's power for the scanner and has USB connection, which I need to convert, and it does not come with a USB conversion connector to USB-C. Uh, this cabling thing on this thing could all be handled as USB-C, but they have standard old school connectors. When you go to hook everything up and you need to let the software know what scanner you're using and you need to put in the serial number of the scanner. Why? I have no idea. It's a pain in the ass, quite honestly. I'm gonna set up the scanner here to capture the shoe and I'm gonna try to do this on the turntable because I'm lazy and everybody else is lazy, I'm assuming. And so the easiest way, if to do this scanning is to put it on the turntable and let the turntable go instead of having to move the scanner around and looking at the screen because I don't have the handheld uh, adapter kit and moving it around and looking at the screen is very difficult so turntable is the way to go. In the software there are two modes there's easy scan and there is turntable mode and I am letting this thing go on easy scan mode here so it's just rotating and capturing the information we're going to do a turntable scan version as well but the easy scan just allows me to get multiple passes on this thing and if i want i can move the scanner up in the air to capture some information about the object from above like i'm doing here and what I'm gonna try to do is we're gonna try to do a full 360 scan of the shoe, meaning I wanna try to capture the tread of the shoe, something that I haven't done in the past uh, with the other 3D Maker Pro scanners like the Mole or the Whale uh, when I scanned uh, the shoe. So we're gonna give that a shot as well. One of the features of the software is it allows you to take multiple scans and then stitch them together. And so that's how we're gonna do this 360 view of the shoe. And you can see that I placed the shoe on its side so that the scanner can start to pick up the information here. And it's able to automatically stitch everything together, which is really nice. Now, I'm going to do these as um, turntable scans. And you can see it's isolating the turntable itself in the raspberry color here. That way it knows uh, what's the object and what's the turntable. And it can then just remove the turntable from the scan data. And we'll let it go here. 
And it literally just goes around one time in turntable mode. And that's why I was doing uh, easy scan before, so I could get multiple revolutions and make sure I capture the detail really well. And maybe that's not needed, and that's just me being extra careful. Since this scanner is made for scanning larger objects, it has a bigger scanning area than let's say the molded. And that is really nice, even for an object that's sort of mid-sized like a shoe. And I'm able to capture the entire object as it's rotating around on the turntable. And I think this makes scanning a lot easier. Okay, so I've done four scans at this point and I want to let the software stitch them all together I turn them on over here on the right and you can see it is going through the alignment you see the raspberry there that's the stuff that's going to get eliminated and it's going to stitch it together processing took a little while here this is sped up 20 times this is what you get pretty nice there is a reorientation thing I'll be honest I, I can't figure out how it works. So it's just going to come into fusion a little bit sideways. And you can clean up some of this artifacting, which I didn't do. That can also be done in the uh, 3D Maker Pro software. But this is the data that you get. This is a 360 scan of that shoe. I'm very pleased with this. It doesn't have quite the detail of the mole, but the wider scanning area allows you to do the whole shoe where this is scanned with the mole and it was a little tougher. The detail's slightly higher, but with this Lynx, it's, since it's a bigger field of view, allows you to scan objects a little easier, I find, especially on the turntable. Let's try to scan something a little bit bigger. So I have my DeWalt cordless vacuum here. And this is, you know, roughly, let's say three, four times the size of the shoe in volume and a bigger object, probably close to the limit of what you're gonna scan on a tabletop. But let's give this a shot. It does have some black parts here. Uh, some stuff is shiny and uh, I, we'll see how successful we are and i'm gonna let this thing go and try to do a series of scans this looks like how cool is that it's it continued the tracking it figured out where things messed up and in the same scan without pausing it uh it picked up where it left off so i'm going to do multiple scans of this vacuum cleaner here in turntable mode to try to scan this object. You can see that the green scanning area does not cover the entire object like it did with the shoe. But I'm moving the uh, turn the um, scanner around in easy scan mode here to capture as much data as I can. And we're gonna align these three different scans together, see what we get. All right, this is what we get. So I haven't done anything. I haven't put any talcum powder or any spray on anything to kind of dull the matte surfaces. I think this skin is pretty decent. It's picking up the uh, logos and stuff like that. The shiny objects and particularly the hose, which is shiny and black, it's having a tough time with that. Um, but I feel like if you sprayed that with a uh, matte uh, material or dusted it with something, you could get a higher quality skin. My final thoughts on the Lynx. A little bit cheaper than the Mole. Can do larger objects up to five meters in size. I think that if you can compromise the resolution, right? This can do 0.1, this can do 0.05. But if you can sacrifice some resolution for easier scanning, and for the larger objects, then this is the way to go. If you need that resolution and you're willing to do a little bit more work, then the mole is the way to go. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for both of these. 
150 bucks off of this one by June 29th, and I'll leave a coupon code for an additional uh, amount off as well. Link to both products below. Stay tuned to watch me score a very nice hockey goal. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below and on the channel page. Rock on. Don't forget to check out the t-shirts and hoodies in the merch shelf below. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.